SIU football kicks off their home opener in two days. Noon start from inside Saluki Stadium. And let's go inside the huddle and get you caught up on everything you need to know as the Salukis prepare for week two. I think we learned a lot about ourselves and some things that we can get corrected. Uh, going into to week two. SIU head football coach Nick Hill told the media in his weekly press conference, turnovers hurt his team and they have to get that corrected. There were five of them. In three of those turnovers, North Dakota converted into touchdowns. There's no magic formula to that. You, you got to make good decisions with the ball from the quarterback position. And then uh, you got to have great ball security. You got to cherish the ball. The number one thing is to, to get up with the football. And then we got to find ways to create turnovers ourselves on defense. After looking at game film, not all was bad. There were some positive takeaways. When we were in rhythm on offense, uh, I feel like Ray probably graded out uh, in during his reps as good as a game as he's played here, 12 of 14 uh, with the touchdown. Um, you know, the, the first fumble uh, he can't have. Correa Lyles was knocked out of the game. His status is still up in the air. They dialed up the perfect pressure at the perfect time. He's right-handed. He didn't see the corner coming. It took a shot that most people wouldn't hang on to the football during that time. It was, a, it was a great play by them. That's really not on Correa. If Correa is unable to go, Coach Hill said Nick Baker did some good things. He just has to cut down the interceptions. Coach compared the loss to last year's at SEMO. He said they faced a good team in North Dakota and they made the mistakes pay. We had to get back in here and refocus. We went on the road to get a win against UMass. This year we're going to have to refocus and get a, get a win against the, uh, the best team in the country. North Dakota State has won the national championship eight out of the last nine years. SIU played them close in Carbondale last year, losing 21-7. Last year's quarterback and current projected first round pick, Trey Lance, was held in check that day. But Coach Hill says the Bison will have another guy ready to step in. North Dakota State doesn't really change much for you. For you. I think they make, make you adapt to who they are. Uh, they're going to play fundamentally sound. They're extremely well coached, disciplined, uh, a new quarterback, but the last four quarterbacks have won national championships. Pass complete to Landon Lenore. This week is also different because the weather is better. Last week, the Salukis could only practice for about an hour at a time. And the North Dakota game was really the first time guys got to make tackles or take hits. Like Jawan Blankenship, that was the first time that we had ever seen Jawan play uh, and tackle anybody. He didn't get cleared from his, uh, from his tricep injury until the Thursday before. And then the way practices were leading up to the game, I mean, really, we cut him loose. He started in the game. but So, obviously, he's got to, to get into playing shape and play. At running back, neither Javon or Romir had practiced until uh, the third. They both got cleared. Uh, Javon got cleared the day before the game. Uh, so, neither one of them had gotten tackled or really had reps to, to get going. And But we knew all that going through. Giggling to be is cleared and uh, for full go practice this week and we'll get to, to play, uh, which will be big. I mean, our, our inside linebackers didn't come out of the game. There may be a limited amount of fans at the game Saturday, but SIU is excited to have their fans behind them and cheering them on. We've got to uh, give them some things to, to cheer about, but 2,500 fans can, can make a difference. They really can. And uh, I know what 2,500 Saluki fans can, can sound like, and so I'm, exci I'm excited for that.